Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 254. Filtering on lists using the Management app. In tip number 252, I talked about setting up filters on lists using the Power Pages Design Studio. As with most of the features of the Power Pages Design Studio, you can also set up filters on lists using the Power Pages Management app. At the bottom of the General tab, on the List form, you'll see the Metadata Filter section. Here, you can add filters that line up with those that we talked about. They are organized a bit differently here. In the Design Studio, you select your column type, and then it leads you down a path to select how you will define the options. In the Power Pages Management app, you need to consider how you will define the options as part of your first choice. I find the easiest way to figure out how the filters in the Design Studio map to those in the Management app is to simply create filters in the Design Studio and then see what that translates to in the Management app. There is one thing you can do here that you can't do in the Power Pages Design Studio, and that is customize the options available for filters based on a choice column. In the Design Studio, if you select a choice column, it will automatically include all choice options. This is known as a dynamic pick list set in the Power Pages Management app. However, in the Power Pages Management app, you can also add an attribute filter set and select a choice column. There, it will pre fill with the available options. However, you can edit these options, including removing and reordering them. So, if you need more control over the options for filtering a choice column, use the Power Pages Management app. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 254 on filtering on lists using the Management app useful.